What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Math, and I'm back in a building. Okay, y'all, I was coming to show you guys how I was going to refresh and re-keep or revamp my one-week-old um, Afro Puffs, y'all. Yes, y'all. See, y'all already seen the previous video of how I installed these Afro Puffs. If y'all didn't, I will leave a link in the comment section below. So, this has been one week, and this is how my hair look. Um, I do my edges every day, but this is just... I'm recording this and I have not done my edges as of yet, child. So, anyways, I was looking for my wild growth hair oil. Um, so I can put it in my hair. So, first of all, when you get your wild growth bar, you need to shake it. Don't break it. it. Took your mama and I must make it. Okay. Anyways, y'all, I use this wild growth hair oil three times a week. Three times a week. Maybe four. It all depends because I use it every other day. And I just put it in my scalp and I just keep it right on going. So, right here, you see me pushing the um tip up under the brow. I don't know what the hell I'm smiling at, child. Anyway, you see me... <laughs> you see me pushing the uh, tip of the bottle underneath the braid. That's what I'm doing. Pushing it underneath the braid so I can get the product under the... Uh, the braid or either the ponytails that's in the back i guess you would call them ponytails because they in like some uh ponytail holders so i'm pushing it under there so i can get the oil up under there not just through the parts but through the actual hair itself and y'all i'm paying close attention to that nape area because y'all know i'm bald head back there so i'm trying to grow my hair all the way to the floor one of these days y'all keep on watching keep on watching anyways i'm pushing all of that uh product underneath those little ponytails back there so i can get it in good as best as i can now right here i'm gonna push it up under those ponytails as I, as good as i can i'm trying y'all but then i decided let me push the chair down a little bit i guess y'all couldn't see me but i decided to go ahead and uh take those things out because see i wasn't going to but i said you know what forget it take them out let the people see what you're really gonna do okay don't be trying to sugarcoat nothing okay so we're gonna take out these hair pins first and foremost child and when you remove hair pins take them out with ease and try not to pull none of your hair out girl because i sure don't want y'all to pull y'all hair out okay they got a little ball i feel like i'm free i ain't took them off all week so now I was just going to turn the camera off, but I said, you know what? Go ahead and keep the camera rolling. Show them what it is, what it be like, okay? So, I'm going to take the other one out. Make sure you take the bobby pins out first, gently. I don't know why I made that face. Something must be hurting me, child. Golly. <laughs> Anyways, yes, I'm doing the Afro Puff dance, shaking them out. Because they were a little dusty, child. Because I had went walking the other day. Y'all seen my video yesterday. And it was dust flying and stuff. So I had got a little dust in my ponytail. So they looked at a little dingy, girl. They looked so dingy. So I said, you know what? Let me get some of this pink spray right here. And I put a little oil on them. That's pink gloss. It's called hair gloss polish or something like that, child. I had got it from Walmart, child. If y'all want some of that, go look at Walmart. They got it. It's just oil sheen. Um, but it's in a mist. So I sprayed some of those, uh, uh, some of that on and tried to refresh it and revamp it, and it smells so good, yes. So I don't know why I'm being so extra right here, but yes, it took all of that just to get my ponytails uh, back to life, okay? Just to bring them back to life, it took all the, all of that extra in this child. Anyway, child, my ponytails are back to life. Now I'm going to sit them down on the table since we done brought them back to life. Now we got to get some done to this hair, girl. Ooh, these little puff balls. I was thinking about taking them loose, but you know what? I say, you know what? The less manipulation, the better off I am. Because usually I would take those ponytails out and retwist them and rebond them and pin them back up. But you know what? I say, nope, I ain't going to touch them. I'm leaving them right there and I'm just going to scoop the product up under the ball. Like, I got the oil. Y'all see me push it up on the other. So, that's what I'm doing. Trying to make sure I get every little section of my scalp as I can with my wild growth oil. Every little section. And make sure I go around that hairline. Because sometimes I forget the back of my hairline when I be doing a video. And then I look at the video and I be like, man, I ain't even get my hairline. My nape area mostly. So, I have to make sure. Why is she making them faces? Oh, God. Child. Anyways, um, got to get all the moisture not the moisture, but the oils in. Now, I am going to moisturize it. I know I just I just oiled it. I just sealed it. And then I um moisturize it. But 
my I didn't I wasn't using my wild growth hair oil as a sealer. I was using it as a oil to put on my scalp. A sealer actually goes on top of your hair. Even though I know the wild growth oil did touch my hair, I mean, it, it, I ain't breaking no law. You know, as long as my hair stay moisturized, that's what counts. But the wild growth hair is to help me with my hair growth journey. So um, I am sealing it. I mean, I'm moisturizing it with. That's water in that body, y'all, child. I don't even know where I'm at no more, child. I have water in that bottle. Oh, I'm being so extra. Look at me. It take all of that because I'm so tender scalped and tender headed and all of that stuff. But yeah, that was water in that spray bottle. I didn't put, I didn't get no S curl spray, y'all, because my S curl spray in the room and I ain't feel like going to get it. So, anyways, I thought I do all of that. I make sure I massage it in. Yes, massage it in. No matter how cute you trying to be with your style, if your style start to look ratchet, then you take it out once it look ratchet. But I'm just showing you guys the upkeep because I know a lot of people be like, oh, you should massage it. That's gonna mess your hair up. That's gonna make it fuzzy. Listen here, I ain't on the fuzzy tip. Whatever, if it get fuzzy, it is what it is i'm trying to grow my hair what who i'm looking at oh my husband had walked in and said something so i'm like baby i'm recording but i couldn't say that because i was recording and i just smiled so anyways y'all i'm putting some extra uh water on the puff ball so that way it can penetrate through the puff and get down in there to the ends because you know all of my ends of my hair is tucked into those balls so i made sure i drenched them um a couple of times doing this video so that water can uh penetrate down my hair shell okay so now i think i'm finna do my edges girl okay i must be because I, I gotta take my glass off so i can get close to the uh mirror so y'all can see me child anyway child i'm drinking water y'all gonna have to excuse me child because i'm thirsty anyway put the glasses back on okay there we go now, y'all can see, I'm showing you guys my gray areas, where it's usually gray where I had colored my hair at. The gray started to come back a tiny little tad bit, but not not so much that it's aggravating. Anyway, they're going to got to be glued. That's it. That's what I had used the last time. And, y'all, I kind of like this got to be glued. Now, I'm kind of feeling this thing, but I got to learn how to... Oh, that's too much. That's way too much. So, I put on too much, as you guys can see. If you use too much, it will flake up. If you use too much of that got to be glued, you'll get flakes. I mean, it ain't no major flakes, but you'll get some flakes around your hairline. I've been using it for a whole week now. I'm still testing it now. So before I do a review and see how much I like it or not, I'm going to test it probably one more week. And then I come back with my review Um, how I like the glazed edges. Girl, why did I say glazed edges? Nah, it ain't even much glazed edges. <laughs> It's got to be glue. Glazed edges is a throwback that I used to love a long time ago. But every time I find me a um a new edge control, it be like a love relationship. And then it turn into hate because I find a new one. And then it be like I find a new one. So I got another love relationship. And then it turn into hate. So these edge controls ain't loyal, you know. I be thinking I done fell in love with one. And then bam, here goes somebody else making a new one. But I ain't finna be trying no more after this one. This is my last one until until I find another good one. <laughs> That's just how it go. Do y'all understand my pain? How many edge controls have y'all ever used? Like for real. How many edge controls have you used in your lifetime of edge controls? For all those out there that tame their edges. Because some people just don't do it. And they don't, they over edge controls. But I ain't over edge controls. I be I be having a uh, giving the edge controls run for their money. But anyways y'all. When you do your edges just brush them down in the way that they go on. You feel me? And then swirl them. If y'all want a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do the edges, then I'm going to have to come back and do that at a later date. Because for right now, I'm just doing something. But I know some people need probably a thorough explanation of even after they watch somebody do something, they need them to explain what they're doing instead of just watching. So if y'all want me to come back with a whole nother edge video, let me know down in the comment section. And I will be glad to do it because... Um, and this edge brush I'm using, man, it, it ain't all of that. You know, I need my little comb one, but I think Nivea, um, done heat it somewhere. So I can't find the one with the comb on it. I kind of like that one a little bit because it got the little comb on it. But I find it for the next video. Or uh, if y'all want me to do a video on the edges, if not, child, then oh well, it is what it is. Uh, so anyways, why am I off the camera? 
I'm trying to do that little swoop. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do that little swoop at the end. And uh, my hair looks so fuzzy in the back. I'm not taking it loose. I ain't. Mm-mm. Okay, now I'm fixing this little piece right here, y'all. So, whew, my eyes must be here to some child. Yeah, okay, so now she's looking a little fuzzy. Look all right for one week, don't it, y'all? I'm trying not to go too ratchet. I'm trying to have, like, a, a cute phase in my life where I, my hair be on fleek and my nails be on fleek. But as y'all can see, my nails ain't on fleek. We're for darn. Um, I did do my nails, y'all. Well, my press on nails. They already ready, and I probably show them in a video tomorrow. So stay tuned to my channel if y'all want to see my little nail shine. I, I'm, I'm just going to show them. I ain't going to show how I did them because, honey, that we got to learn a little bit how, how that go, okay? But I will be showing you guys how I do my next ones. Anyway, child, I done got off the video, child. So um, I keep saying child. I'm just so ghetto. Anyway, brush your nape or your hair up like that. Make it smooth. Make it look whole again, you see? Make it look whole again. If you do the front edges, make sure you do the back of your edges. Because ain't no, ain't no use of you laying your edges in the front and then the back of your hair look like BBs. Don't do that. It just don't match. Okay? It don't match. So now, what? I, oh, child, I need to tell y'all what I put on my hair. I put some Elastic QP mousse on there. They call it Design Foam. I got that from Walmart, too. And that other thing I just sprayed on was uh, Motions um, Hairspray which makes it give it a little hole and that right there is the pink glossing spray and i don't know why i gotta make so many faces while i be spraying stuff i guess i don't want to get it in my eyes i think i need some blindfold or something when i spray because honey it be doing the most to me so now that you get all your sprays on there and everything fried that and laid to the scissor get your little wrap I ain't put the sanic wraps on there this time the sanic strips because um I found my scarf, and it's able to cover the complete back of my head. Well, actually, it ain't my scarf. I stole it from Poopy, but don't tell her. I kind of like this scarf, though, too. It kind of uh, wrap, uh, whatever it is. I don't know where she got it from, but I'm going to have to collect me a few of these things. Anyways, tie it on tight. Make sure everything is held into place. Push it up there where the ponytail is. I don't cover the little balls. And what I'm going to do is I can leave it on and just walk around the house and do my chores or whatever. But I don't feel like doing all that. So I'm going to go sit under the dryer and play my game and get my nerves calmed down. Y'all, my game really calms my nerves. I play my game every time I feel stressed out. I play my game. If y'all want to see what game I'm talking about, then I'll do a review on that too. But for right now, I just, I'm just telling y'all, play my game. And, uh, what I'm so extra. What's all that blanket for? Anyway, child, I done came from under the drive, but see what happened was uh when I took the scarf off, my camera had my battery had died, and for some reason it didn't record my footage. But child, I'm at the uh the point where I done put the ponytail in, but I was just showing you guys how nice and sleek that the back of my hair laid down is is all in place and stuff. So I'm gonna put my ponytail back in my hair. And I'm just going to show y'all that I, they have two combs in it and one strain. Well, hell, I guess I thought I was going to show y'all that, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> anyway, when you put your uh, ponytails in your hair and they got two combs in it, make sure that you don't touch your scalp with it. Because if you touch your scalp with it, it's going to be hurting you for the rest of the week or however long you're going to have it in there. So if it touches your scalp when you first put it in, take it out and readjust it, Okay. Just because it touches your scalp don't mean that's how it go. When you put your comb in there, push them through your hair. Make sure they connect it to your hair and they don't have to touch your scalp at all. So make sure you got that. Wrap the little string around and put the string, tuck the string on the out the way. Get your bobby pins and bobby pin it away. I try to put my bobby pin on my string. That way, I, my string won't, like, fall out at a random moment when I'm in Walmart and somebody looking at my head. And then my string just say, hello. And I want that, you know. So, anyway, shy, I'm going to put the pink glosser back on uh, because, no, I ain't. Girl, what I'm doing? I put more water on my hair. Child, I don't know what I'm doing to myself. I put a little bit more water on my hair, I guess, because it felt crusty. And I like my hair to feel moisturized and not crusty. So I'm going to put a little oil sheen on it to make it bling bling. Make it look fresh and new. That's just oil, y'all. You know, no biggie. Just to give it that fresh out of the salon look. Even though y'all already know what the deal is. <laughs> 
So once you get done with all your sprays and stuff, get you a little paper towel or whatever and wipe all that excess oil and grease and edge control off of your edges and gel and take your glasses off and wipe your eyes and all of that stuff. Get all the grease out your face, gear. Don't walk out of the salon with greasy face. So I am done here, y'all. This is it. I'm showing you guys everything that I did to my hair. So now I'm good to go for another week, right? What y'all think about uh, a third week? Oh, I'm good for this week. Oh, why it looks so lopsided in the back? Oh, Lord Jesus. I think I did one point or two up and down. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, it was crooked from the start anyway because I had my little ratchet. Why is it getting dark? Anyways, y'all, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.